All right, guys, welcome back to video number two. This is Decimal Unit. This is year 2017, so these are new videos from my last year's. And once again, we are going to be working on this unit, which will include adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, comparing, and ordering decimals. A lot of this is a review for you. Today, we're going to talk about ordering decimals. Your objective for this video is as a student, you should be able to order decimals from least to greatest and greatest to least. No problems there. You need to have graphic organizer number one, but this time we're using side two. Make sure you look at the top. It says ordering decimals. You can see it there. Okay, all you got to do is look right here. You can see it there. All right, moving on. Okay, and our steps to order decimals. Very quickly, we have three steps. I want you to write all three of them down on your graphic organizer. The steps to order decimals look just like comparing decimals. Number one, you need to line the decimals up vertically. Number two, you need to use zeros as placeholders. Three, compare from left to right, and that is it. Those are the three things. So here we go. We're going to start with example number one. Okay, it says order the following decimals from least to greatest. So we need to remember least to greatest. Okay, and the first thing it said is line the decimals up vertically. So we're going to do 81.01, 81.058, 81 81.21, and 81.3. Second step was use zeros as placeholders. Go ahead and throw those in there. And then we're going to work from left to right. So we've left, all of them are eight. So we move to the next row, all of them are ones. We have a zero, a zero, a two, and a three. Which one is the smallest? Well, we have two zeros that are small. So we need to look at the next one real quick, which is one. So we have 81.01 is the smallest, followed by 81.058. So those both had zeros, and then this one, is the next smallest one, which is 81.21, and finally 81.3. Now, why did I write the 81.3 when it shows here 81.300? I did that because the original question asked me those, so I need to use those ones when I write my answer. Kind of funny how those were already done in order. Let's look at example number two, same thing. So this one we have seven, there's no decimal. When there's decimal not in sight, it is on the right. So we're going to go ahead and put the decimal point there. 7.34, 7.2756, and finally 7.5. Put zeros as placeholders, which is quite a few of them. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and start on the left. Sevens are all the same. We have a zero, a three, a two, and a five. Which one is the smallest? Well, it's the 7.0. That was this one, so seven is the smallest. Remember, least to greatest. Next one, we have three, two, and five. That would be the, this one, 7.2756. Okay, next third one, 7.3 or 7.5. Which one is smaller? 7.34, so 7.34. And finally, the last one that we have left is 7.5. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all you need to do. All four in order. Let's move on to example number three. Example number three, same thing. Line up your decimals. 2.471. We have 2.39. We also have 2.394. And 2.4. So we're looking for, this time though, greatest to least. Make sure you read it. Put your zeros as placeholders. We want the greatest one. Well, we have 2.4. Those are all twos. We have 2.4. 7 and 2.40. So the biggest one is 2.471. Okay, we also had 2.40 or 2.4. So both of those are done. So now we're down here. We have 2.39, 2.39, but we have a 4. So 2.394 is the next biggest one, and obviously 2.39. Ladies and gentlemen, that is example number three. Next one. All right, last example I'm going to show you here. Here we go. We have 0 0.101, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and finally 0 0.1001. We are going greatest to least. Go ahead and fill in our zeros, which is a lot of them this time. All zeros. We have three ones. We're looking for the biggest one. So we know that this guy is the smallest because he's the only one left. So let's go 0 0.1. 0, 1. That was this guy right there. He's the smallest. Okay, so the next biggest one, we have ones. We have zeros. And remember, because this guy is off, this one right here is the next biggest one because we have a one. So 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.101. 0 0.101 followed by 0 and 0. 
and 0 and 1. So this guy is just a little bit bigger, which happens to be 0 0.1001 followed by 0 0.1. And that's our that's it. That's our that's our examples. Those are four of them. You got to be very careful. They're trying to trick you. They're trying to make them difficult. All right. You need to do these four for independent practice. Yes, they're already kind of lined up. All you got to do is add the zeros and you need to start going. Pause the video. When you're done, check them. Good luck. All right, and I'm back, so we're going to start. Um, actually, you should have done those least to greatest. So least to greatest. Sorry, I screwed that up. If you were already back, I apologize. Least to greatest. So here we go. Let's do least to greatest. If you did them greatest to least, it's okay as long as you got them right. All right, here we go. So you should have had for this one, and I'll just tell you which one is the smallest. Least to greatest. So this one should have been number one, number two, three, and four. That would be least to greatest. This particular one, you should have had the first one was this one. One, two, three, and four in that order. Once again, least to greatest, least to greatest, okay? One, two, three, and four. Okay, and the last one we have, if we were going least to greatest, we would have had the bottom one is the least, followed by the top one, followed by the third one, and finally 95 was our largest. So least to greatest, those are our four. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you got it figured out. This is your exit ticket. You need to do these three problems on your graphic organizer. When you are done with these three, you will need to show them to Mr. Williams. Okay, that's all you have to do. Pause the video, finish the three, and then you're done. When you finish with this, you look in the echo, you find out which worksheet you need to do, which I will tell you is worksheet number one. Ladies and gentlemen, if you need any help, come find me in the back. Your terrible teacher is out.